Yeah. yeah, you have not. He's we taking more pills. Okay, let's ask a couple more questions. Mr. Abrams, what are the pills that you just took? <laughs> Object to full. What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here with another deposition react. I have gotten more comments asking me to react to this video than any other video ever. It is called Deposition Misconduct by an Attorney Witness. So an attorney is the one getting deposed. I bet there are going to be fireworks. It's late at night. I usually wear my eye patch late at night. I don't know where my eye patch is. So if my eye starts to get lazy, forgive me. Let's get started. So this attorney is representing himself pro se, meaning he is named individually in this lawsuit. And the other lawyer who is off camera is representing the firm. I'm gonna assume that that is this lawyer's law firm. So the law firm was sued and the lawyer was sued individually. And remember what we say about a lawyer who represents himself. An idiot sandwich. He has a fool for a client. As you know, my name's Tom Burge. I'm counsel for plaintiff Justin Moskowitz in this lawsuit. And do you understand why you've been asked to give your deposition today? No. Are you aware that your firm, Abrams & Associates, is a defendant in a lawsuit that's going to trial next month? Yes. And are you aware that you are a witness regarding the actions of Abrams & Associates? Yes. Okay, so he might not be a party named in the lawsuit. He might just be a witness. So they probably subpoenaed him. So it's probably still a legal malpractice lawsuit, just he's not individually named. He's a witness, which kind of makes sense because literally the title of this video is Deposition Misconduct by an Attorney Witness. And he is not happy to be here. Have you had your deposition taken before? I think so. When have you had your deposition taken before? I don't recall. How many times? I, I don't recall. You have, you're sitting here today under oath, you have no idea whether you've been deposed before? I've answered, answered form. I've answered that question, object to form, move on. <laughs> Man, that is testy right from the get-go. Remember, 99% of the time, and it's gonna depend on the jurisdiction you're in, generally the only objection you can make in a deposition is objection form, and that covers pretty much everything. And just because you object to form doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have to answer the question. Oftentimes you object to form, answer the question, and then your objection is preserved and the judge can make the determination later on on whether or not it can be admitted into evidence. Have you been deposed Object to form. Object to form. Move to certify the question. If you feel that I haven't answered, then you can move for a sanction. We're going to go ahead and stop the deposition at this point and dial the special master. We're going off the record. No, we're staying on the record, please. Okay. That was a great move, staying on the record. We often do that. When we have disagreements with the defendant or defense counsel, we make them stay on the record because if they try to pull BS, I want it on the record so everybody can see the BS they're trying to pull. So what they're doing now is they're calling the judge or the special master. They're going to say, judge or special master, this is what's going on. The witness is not cooperating. We either need to stop this deposition right now and do this again later when they will cooperate or they need to cooperate. He is not in the office at the moment. Can I get a number and have him call you back? Yes, that would be great. If you could please. Okay, I'll send him an email right now. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. So the special master wasn't available. Moving on. Uh, Mr. Abrams, I want to ask you one more time. Have you had your deposition taken before? Objective form. Yes, to answer, move on. <laughs> you need to answer the question. The yeah, question was answered. Excuse me, have her read it back. Yep. Mr. Abrams, this is not your deposition. Please don't harass me. No, I'm, I'm not harassing you. We're going to move you. for sanctions I'm against you. you <laughs> to not answer go into questions. Allow he just her. answered the question. He did not answer the question. He just said he did not recall. That's an answer to the question. So it, it's your testimony under oath today, Mr. Abrams, that you do not recall whether or not you've ever been deposed before. Asked and answered. And so please read you the answer back. You need to answer my questions, Mr. Abrams. Please read the answer back. No, do not read the answer back, Mr. Like, Abrams. Well, like this the answer would be right Let's back. move on. How many times have you been named in a lawsuit in your individual capacity? 
I can't recall. Have you ever been named in a lawsuit in your individual capacity? I think so. Okay. And when do you think that you were added as a defendant to a lawsuit in your individual capacity? It may have been, if I get it right, it may have been in the BB matter. He knows exactly when he's been named in a lawsuit. Today you've been added, you, you were a defendant in a lawsuit in one matter, and that was the BB matter, is that Check correct? Form. I think, I think they added me as an individual defendant and they lost the case that went to jury trial. The man, BB, attacked me in a stairwell and I think he named me individually in that suit and then he lost that suit. Is this BB matter that you're referring to the only time you remember being added as a defendant in a lawsuit? Objective form. I, to my recollection, yes, that's my answer. And you said the other party was named BB? Yes, I represented him in a matter where him and his wife were both arrested for DUI. He was thrown in a drunk tank for being belligerent and he sued the city. And then I put a restraining order on him for nine months for attacking me in a stairwell. And then he sued and then he lost that suit outright at jury verdict. So we're gonna move to strike that as irrelevant uh, <laughs> to form and that it's going to lead to non-discoverable evidence. Under the rules of Mr. evidence. Mr. Abrams, you are not me, you allowed to. Me. I am you allowed to interrupt he's, you. He's, this is my he's giving his today, answer. Sir. You can't, and my you, answer. It, it is my not, answer. you are not allowed he, to put objections on the record. You are a witness today. And Mr. Abrams, you are represented by counsel. Your counsel is allowed to put objections on the record. You are not. He's not represented by counsel. He's going pro se. This guy's such a pain in the ass. Not today. I am a lawyer. Do you understand I, that? I am a lawyer. I don't need a lecture from you who doesn't understand the rules of evidence. Under the rules of evidence, the only thing that can come in under the rules of evidence is truthfulness and untruthfulness. So to the extent that you're trying to disparage me because you have me on videotape and embarrass me for things that you can't bring in, I'm going to raise, move to strike, find it objectionable, and then move for sanctions for harassment under Rule 30D. You can look it up if you don't know it. Mr. Abrams, I feel quite confident that if any sanctions are entered in this matter, it's going to be against you. Objective for form. For continuing to obstruct and not answer Objection. any of my questions. Objective you form. You cannot object. I just did. You cannot. I just did. I'm a lawyer. I'm, I'm a licensed, unblemished member of the bar. <laughs> unblemished. If you laugh at me one more time, we're going to walk out. We're going to move for 30D3 sanctions. We're going to move for harassment sanctions against you right now. Okay, you're laughing at us with the videotape that you published on, on, on the internet about you and your rock band, and you're going to be laughing at me. <laughs> and you've moved for sanctions and had them denied every single time in this matter, and the jury should see that too. Every single one has led to no sanction. Mr. A Man, this is cutthroat. And you know it's cutthroat because they posted this deposition online, which probably tells me that this guy probably got sanctions against him. Abrams, are, are, are you aware where we quashed all of your subpoenas and you, and you asked for attorney's fees and you got no sanction? Mr. Abrams, let's move on. Do you have a question you, for me? You sued me. You sued my firm belligerently under the abuse of your law license where we counter sued you. We have a counterclaim against you for abuse of process for misusing your law license. We, you sued me for fraud, civil conspiracy, I mean, not civil conspiracy, conspiracy, which is a cr criminal act. And so you did that wrong. And aiding and abetting, which is a criminal act, so you did that wrong. Ask me questions about that or I'm leaving. <laughs> this guy's a total pain in the ass, but you can tell he's actually kind of smart. We're gonna be here for a long time today if you do not answer my questions. I just wanna let you know that right now. Object to form. And put that on the record. Mr. Sullenberger, <laughs> I'm sorry. This stop is, laughing at yes, my wife. This, this, this is stop laughing at my wife and stop harassing us. Listen, um, let's, you let's, brought us down here for fraud. Ask us fraud questions. How many times has your firm been added as a defendant in any lawsuit? As I can recall, one in the BB matter. So the BB matter and then this matter as well. Those are the only two times you recall that your firm has been added as a defendant. Yes, as I recall. Aside from traffic tickets, have you ever been named in a criminal action? Objective form. Uh, objective form and 
privilege, so I assert privilege and need not answer. What privilege are you asserting, sir? Attorney client privilege and under the law, I need not answer that. This is a civil matter. It's not a criminal matter. There's no attorney client privilege. Is he the attorney for himself? Is that what he's alleging? Is he alleging he's the attorney for f what? Let's see where this is going. What law are you referring to, Mr. Abrams? I move to strike the question. I refuse to answer under privilege. And I move for a protective order on the question. So certify the question and move on. You've again not answered my questions. You've Objective made a form. absolutely baseless assertion of privilege. Are you aware that in a deposition, the proper objections that your lawyer are allowed to make are as to form and as to foundation. Mm -hmm. If there is a matter that it's privileged and your lawyer objects to it on the basis of privilege, he can instruct you not to answer. Otherwise, you need to answer all of the questions that Object I give to, to you form. today. Do you understand that, Mr. Abrams? Uh, what law are you referring to, Mr. Abrams? You just take aside from traffic tickets, have you ever been named in a criminal? You just action? took some pill. So objection privilege. Move on. What privilege? You are not answering the question today. You're object to form, to object to privilege. Abrams. Move on. Move on. Now the other lawyer is saying he's representing him. You can't just say objection privilege. You have to assert what privilege it is. It's the answer. Objection privilege. Move on. What privilege are you asserting today, Mr. Sullen? Attorney-client privilege. He's already answered the question. So Mr. Abrams is saying he has an attorney-client privilege over himself being named as a criminal uh, defendant. Yes. And the question is <laughs> intended to harass and annoy. And under 30D3, again, we're going to move for sanctions for repeated conduct like this. I can't even get through my initial questions that's here because your, you are being we, so obstructionist. That's yeah, y'all, we're three questions into the deposition. A normal deposition is hundreds and hundreds of questions. This might be my favorite video of all time. Attorney-client privilege with myself. I'm going to remember that and use it. Because you're a weak lawyer, but go ahead. You sued me for fraud. Ask me fraud questions. You sued my firm for fraud, aiding and abetting, and conspiracy. You have no evidence. Put something in front of me and we'll answer the questions. You have nothing. You have nothing. Mr. Put Abrams, something in are front you of aware me. that Judge Starrs already ruled that there is substantial evidence against your form, firm that you committed fraud? Object we, to form. misrepresentation. Of the are you aware? Mischaracterization. The fact that the judge let you bring your bogus claim against us doesn't mean that it's merit full. Do you have a fraud question for me? Please answer the question. He just got asked. Are you, are you aware? aware? Yes, I'm aware. Move on. Have you ever been arrested? Objective form and privileged attorney client. Is it? And you're instructing your client not to answer that question on the basis of attorney client privilege, Mr. Sullenberger. It's my understanding that Mr. Abrams uh, had an attorney for those for any issues that may have arisen. And therefore, you can assert. The I also don't recall being what, arrested. What part of my question asked for any attorney-client privilege? He's not being deposed. I don't have to. Uh, I objected. I objected to questions? form. I objected for privilege for Mr. Abrams. I am going to end this deposition now, okay. Mr. Abrams. We're going to continue it while we seek intervention of the special master. Fine. Right. It's clear that you are not here to answer any it's questions. Clear today, that you're harassing and us. And you are refusing to answer We've any answered questions. Every today. question. Read every question. You, yeah. yeah, you have not. He's read taking more read. pills. Okay, let's ask a couple more questions, Mr. Abrams. What are the pills that you just took? <laughs> Object to form. Oh my God! This is getting crazier by the second. First of all, they're totally out of bounds on this attorney-client privilege thing, and the lawyer knows it. They both know it. This guy knows it, and the guy sitting next to him knows it. You could hear by the way he was trying to answer. The plaintiff's attorney was saying, hey, opposing counsel, it's your assertion that you and your client are asserting a privilege, and he totally avoided it. He's trying to be his lawyer without being his lawyer because this guy said he's going pro se. He said, well, I think... Mr. Abramson said he had an attorney for that matter, but it wouldn't even, it doesn't matter. Being arrested is not something that's confidential. It's literally public record. They're gonna freak out about the pills he's taking.
what the hell is this? None of your business. None of privilege. None of what are those? Business. What are those other pills? Object to form. Of so it could be their business because if you take something that makes you incapacitated, then that could affect the deposition. Oftentimes at the beginning of depositions, we ask, have you taken any medication or on any drugs today that might affect your ability to answer these questions? None object to privilege. None of your business. Medical privilege. No Mr. Answer. Abrams, are you under any, uh, the, the, uh, any drugs today? Have you taken any drugs before you came to this deposition today? No. Okay. Have you taken any alcohol before you came to this deposition today? No. Any, any medication whatsoever? No. No. Just these pills that you're taking here? Yes. That you are refusing to answer what they are? Yeah, medical None privilege. None of your business. Mm -hmm. Medical okay. privilege? But I can tell you that if you took some of these, they would help get some of your weight off. Mm. I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, you're referring to when you called me fat when you walked in here. Objective right? form. That. You don't recall that? Okay. Well, we have a couple of witnesses to that, including Mr. Sullenberger. Uh, in any event... If you want to raise your weight problem, Mr. Ward, with the jury and with the special master, please do. But we're not the ones that are sitting here in that condition with a pill in his hand and just popping another pill, I'd be willing to bet a lot of money. This guy is gonna face some disciplinary action. Do you recall the motion to quash the subpoena for your testimony yes. that you filed? Um, and, and you attempted to quash the subpoena to disallow your deposition to be taken, correct? Objective form. I don't recall that. I remember we successfully quashed your bad faith depositions you moved for attorney's fees and you were denied by the special master. That's my recollection, that he found them, that, that he found them. When we told you I would be out of town to, in bad faith, then schedule the deposition to pull me out of my vacation, he found that to be objectionable and he commended me on taking a, a vacation um, under the stresses of this profession. So I remember the special master commending me and quashing you. That's my recollection. Are you here today pursuant to the subpoena? Yes. Okay. So your subpoena didn't get quashed, did it? Yes, it did. <laughs> sure didn't. Yes, it did. Argumentative. Move on. <laughs> okay. What are you and laughing at? Why do you keep laughing? What is it with you? Why don't you look at the camera and laugh at them? Mr. Abrams. You're you're, your you're testimony being is being taken Just today. ask me some questions about fraud, civil conspiracy, and one of the trumped up things you did under your license that we're moving for sanctions against you. Do you realize we sued you for abuse of your law license? Do you realize that? And that we're going to continue to sue you for the way that you've been treating in this matter? You have no evidence. If you do, show the jury, put it in front of us, we'll ask questions. You haven't put one document in front of us. Open something up and make this a meaningful deposition or let me go. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Abrams? Depends on what your next question is. <laughs> In the motion that you filed to quash the subpoena, isn't it true that you admitted to the special master that you were in fact in town? Objective form. We told the special master in a pleading that I returned at home at 3.30 in the morning on the same day that you scheduled my deposition and that there was no way I was going to be able to come to the deposition with no sleep. We found so you we were in town at offensive. the time, you were in town on the time that you were scheduled to be deposed, but Objective you nevertheless form. moved to Asked and answered. Move on. Mr. Abrams, are you refusing to answer? I Object to question. form. Move on. How you many don't pills get to not answer when you object. Object to form. Do you understand? I answered the question, and I even told you what time I returned on the day. What more? Why are you harassing me? Mr. Abrams, Stop harassing listen me. to my questions. Today, that your job is to listen to my questions and answer your questions under oath. Do you understand? Judge to ask, form. For, asked and answered. Move on. I'm waiting for your answer, Mr. Abrams. Her first question was the same question you asked. If we need to go back to the very beginning to ask whether I said I would be here under oath, we can go back and ask the court reporter. Mr. Abrams, in that motion, you included that Mr. Abrams' anxiety requires him to take medication on extended flights that impairs Mr. Abrams' facilities. Uh, can you please explain what medication you were referring to in Objective your filing? Objective form no. medical privilege. Privilege. Medical privilege. Yes. 
Yes, Move on. You have what no privileges then? None you of your absolutely business. Absolutely no right. No, what medicine I take is none of your business. Move on. You filed a motion with the special master saying that because of a certain medication that yep. you take, you take, you could not sit for your deposition. Yes, that medicine is none of your business. Right. Move and, on. And now you've, you've come into this deposition today with a handful of pills yep. that you refuse to answer questions about yes, what they are. None of your business. HIPAA protection privilege. Move on. We are going to continue this deposition. That is not the applicable use of HIPAA. Move on. Position now, Mr. Abrams, okay. you have made it clear you are not willing to answer any of the questions today. You have been objecting. We are going to move for sanctions against you and your firm for your conduct during this deposition. Does he just put the take... pill bottle in his pocket? And we will take that up with the special master. And we'll represent your conduct during this deposition. Please well. do. For the record. We disagree. We're filing the exact same motion and seeking the exact same sanctions. Anything else? We will continue the deposition and go off the record at this time. We're going off the record at 9.30. <laughs> we need to find out what happened to that case. This was attached to the YouTube video. People versus Robert E. Abrams. Presiding disciplinary judge approved the party's amended conditional admission of misconduct and suspended Robert E. Abrams. For one year, 90 days to be served, and nine months to be stayed upon successful completion of a two-year probation. The suspension took effect May 14th, 2020. So essentially, he was suspended for 90 days. Nine months of it was stayed pending his completion of a probation period. Abrams continued representation of his clients, the defendants, after he was personally named as a co-defendant in the same action created a conflict of interest. He did not secure informed written consent from his clients, authorizing him to continue with representation despite the conflict. Further, Abrams repeatedly disrupted his own deposition and prematurely ended the session after less than 30 minutes. The court appointed special master then had to review the transcript, issuing an order to sanction Abrams and personally preside over Abrams second deposition. So there you go. The attorney was suspended for a number of bad instances of conduct, the deposition included. Now, I don't want to get into the details of that case, what the causes of action were, what the hell was going on, because I don't know. I can tell that that lawyer, Mr. Abrams, is actually pretty smart. But being smart doesn't mean anything if you're just a total asshole. There's definitely a line between being assertive yet professional and just being an obstructionist. He clearly was asserting things that did not make sense, such as attorney-client privilege of himself. The other lawyer who was there, who was representing his firm, was also kind of representing Mr. Abrams, which didn't make sense. He was refusing to answer very basic questions and not giving straightforward answers, and he was taking pills during the deposition and then asserting a bogus privilege again. So that was definitely one of the craziest depositions I've ever seen. Thank you for all the people who told me to react to it. It was certainly entertaining. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. We just passed 356,000 subscribers. All right, y'all, talk to you later.